Here comes CB Avenida and Tiffany Hayes, who was outstanding in the win over Chopron. And she penetrates and dishes immediately instead of shooting. She hands it off to Hoff. And that's great to get the big center involved early. Tiffany Hayes, you know she wants to penetrate. Here she is. And boy, she, she has hit a different level at this EuroLeague Women Final Four. And to allow Casorla to come off the bench. Casorla, a very important player. Now, long jump shot is good. Well, we talked about Messerman being... Makes a big play on defense and now comes down and hits the long jumper. Uh, but answering is Carly Samuelson. Probably tape it. I think it'll be her decision over maybe the coaches and the trainers. Look at the help defense from Dominguez. And here's Tiffany Hayes. And you know what's going to happen here. She is going hard. What a finish. How in the world did she do that? And you know what's crazy, Jeff? Tiffany Hayes. Long rebound out to Terenz. And she gets it back to Griner. Wow. Quality stuff. Now pulling up on the break. Quigley ties it. Here comes Quigley. Oh, dumps it to Griner. Beautiful play. Quigley. It's not just a score. Excellent teamwork. Stewart. Has yet to really make an impact on this game. Here she is going up against Tiffany Hayes. And she also, oh, from behind on Griner, Vandersloot open. She passes it up. Now Messerman decides not to shoot the jumper, but to drive. And she scores. And the lead now six points for Katrenberg. Vandersloot goes baseline, puts it up and in. Great Britain yeah, International. she is known as a shooter, especially when she plays for Great Britain. Uh, Griner catches it. She's not going to miss much when she catches it that close to the basket. And Carly, boy, lovely little turn there to get in for the layup. Little zone defense here. Stewart from behind the arc. Oh, boy. Look out. Here she comes. Kind of quiet there for a little bit in the second quarter, but the first quarter, she just came out on fire. Same with on Friday night against Chaperon. Oh, boy. So Tiffany Hayes, back to Rodriguez again. Gets it to go. Well, Shona, seven points now, the deficit. So here we are, eight minutes and 20 seconds. And Tiffany Hayes that time turns it over. Here comes Vandersloot in the open floor, pushing up the floor quickly. Oh, good pass, Rodriguez to Millet. She's really become a huge factor for Avenida. Well, she might have got a little lucky. Not sure of Vandersloot. John Cole Jones surrounded down low, gets it over to Messerman. Kattenberg up by five with possession. All oh, nice giving. Go! Look at that, boy. Beautiful basketball. And, and Avenida have committed over five fouls. So every foul now, Ekaterinburg are going to the line, and that's not what you want to see. Of eight at the line. She's also had a steal and a block. John Quill Jones catches. Oh, boy, alley-oop. And a chance for a three-point play here. And another assist for Vandersloot, who really it, folks. Katzenberg have done what they needed to do. Brilliant performance, brilliant effort by Roberto Iniquez and Perfumarias Avenida to come out and really challenge a Katzenberg. But they could not be denied. A Katzenberg winning it 78 to 68. They have won the last three EuroLeague women titles on offer. And uh, this is a powerhouse, folks. And terrific. Baglova, you see, from Russia. Well, Vidiva didn't play, but she, Baglova played big minutes. And there, so it's Brianna Stewart, who's been named EuroLeague Women Final Four MVP. Um, I think in the final, I think Messerman was the best player. But I think uh, when you look back at that semifinal as well, and you can see coming out and accepting the trophy is the Russia international, uh, Elena, uh, excuse me, Yevgenia Belyakova, swinging it back and forth. And there they go. They raise it high. And what a feeling that must be. Katzenberg, well, they know it.